Hello again. I've just had a shower and I just wanted to do this to say, to say that when you suffer with illnesses that people don't know you've gone, you don't go on about it to people, they don't want to hear it, that one of the downsides is all I've done this morning is I've just had a shower. Just had a shower, got dressed and put a duvet cover on a duvet in the bedroom and I'm absolutely wiped out exhausted this is how it affects you now I can sit here I'll sit here for five minutes and I'll be all right to carry on for a bit longer and then it'll come to time come time to take another couple of painkillers and carry on with my day I try not to let it impact on my life so much, even though it's what it's the biggest part of my life. Um, I try not to let it impact on daily life as much as I could do. I like to still do things with my mum and dad. I take them out. Uh, I've got to take my mum to the hospital this afternoon. And... We go shopping, we try and have a, a nice time. They've got the health problems as well. Uh, we go to the airport, we watch the aeroplanes and we don't do anything um, too frantic, but we do still try and have a good time. Uh, I look after my grandsons, three youngest ones. I pick them up from school, I give them the tea and we do everything as normal. Sometimes I sit down like this and say, oh, Nana's exhausted. They're used to it. Last week, but one when it was Easter, believe it or not, I took them on the train to Edinburgh. Yep. By the time we got there, Nana was exhausted. We had a rest in the hotel. Then we went out for tea. I'm doing all this. When I'm doing these things, I'm doing them on medication because it's medication only that keeps me on my feet but like I say with fibromyalgia you've got to be careful what you put into your body I know for a fact that when I went away for that few days with the boys I had I didn't eat any white bread any bread I, I didn't eat things that I know would affect me and, and the exhaustion wouldn't be very nice so I try and eat quite healthy and we te I take my tablets and the boys are only young yet so they're used to Nana, they used to us going to bed early. We went back to the room, we'd had a full day, we'd been to the castle, we'd been on the bus. Um, we get back to the room, we have, have some tea out, then we get back to the room and Nana's wiped out. So we just watch telly or iPads or whatever and they're used to it. And it's amazing how you can adapt and how, how adaptable children are and how forgiving they are and understanding they are, even though they don't understand what's wrong with me. They know that Nana has these health problems and there's times when we have to rest, quite a lot of times. But um, And one of them is mainly, funnily enough, in the morning like this, this time now, getting up having my cups of tea, taking my tablets, watching a bit of telly. I take my time. I have to. can't do anything frantic in the morning. And then I have to just keep sitting and resting. I bake. I bake cakes. I make cakes for family and friends. Once I've took my tablets in the morning, I can manage to bake a cake, come and sit down while it's in the oven, um, doing bits in between, taking tablets. It's the way you've got to be. It's just how you've got to be. You can't let it rule your life, even though it does. You can't let it stop you doing things that you want to do, or else you might as well give up. So it's the fibromyalgia that the, I think causes the worst exhaustion. Although I have friends, I have a friend that has a tethered spinal cord as well, and I don't think she's got fibromyalgia, but she gets these exhaustions as well um 
it's just part and parcel of having a chronic illness and I think most people with chronic illness even if they've not got fibromyalgia would tell you the same the exhaustion can sometimes be worse than the pain the face pains have not been too bad actually I am actually on some antibiotics because I think I've got an um, infection in my tooth which makes the face pain worse so I'm on some amoxicillin for that and I think they're helping with the face pain uh, I've still got to decide whether I'm having the operation or not it's looking like I will do but it remains to be seen anyway I think my energy's coming back a little bit now I think we can get a bit done I'll uh, tune in again later Bye for now.